Hi everyone. Well, the countdown is on for the 2023 total solar eclipse happening on the 20th of April. Now, my astro colleagues and I have been planning for this eclipse for around five years and suddenly it's right there and upon us. It's really come up very quickly. So I thought it would be a great location to do my forecast all about the total solar eclipse right here at the Cottesloe Sundial. This is a beautiful structure built right on the edge of the coastline here at Cottesloe. It was built in 1988 and it took about five years to build mainly by volunteers. It is a beautiful and unique structure and one that also has a purpose by which one can tell the time by looking at the shadow of the sun. So let's see what the time is here at the sundial. If we look at my watch, 10.34 and look for the shadow on the shadow plate so you can see up the top seven, eight, nine, ten. Come in here, ten thirty four. Pretty spot on, I would say. That's amazing. Looking at the shadow. The shadow of the sun. So I thought the sundial makes the perfect backdrop while I tell you all about the total solar eclipse happening in Exmoor. So for a total solar eclipse to occur, the sun, moon and the earth need to be perfectly aligned in their orbits with the moon in the middle. As the moon moves between the sun and the earth, its shadow is cast over the surface of the earth. So this is a really good website that shows you the path of totality. And it is really great because you can zoom in, find out quite a bit of information. You can really see how that path skims across the western coastline um, and when you look at most of the world, you can obviously see why uh, Exmouth is the best place in the world to see it because the only other place on land would be through here and apparently that's a whole stack of jungle. So this is a really good website and I will leave a link to that in the description below. Um, and if we zoom in, you can see that path of totality sitting there over Exmouth. And if you hold the cursor over and click on any location on the map, um, it will give you some information. You can see uh, the path of totality is about 41.5 kilometers wide. So that's pretty interesting. And of course, um, we can see here that the sun will be obscured 100% um, uh, by the moon. So for example, if you are going to be in Perth during the eclipse, if you click on that location, it will tell you that the sun will be obscured by about 70%. So definitely just a partial eclipse um, if you're located in Perth. The 2023 solar eclipse will occur over about three hours, starting at 10.04 a.m. As the moon starts to cover the sun, the shadow of the moon starts to sweep over the landscape. Once the moon is completely covering the sun, we move into totality, and this will last for just 62 seconds, commencing at 11.29am. 
So that moment of totality will be amazing. When the moon is completely covering the sun, we will then have that really quiet and rather eerie moment to experience. Uh, everything around us will be dark. Um, the animals will notice there's a change and it will be a special moment to witness. I am super excited to be traveling up to Exmouth to witness this amazing phenomenon. I'll have my video camera with me, so I'm hoping to get some footage for you to share. Now, if you can't make it up to Exmouth for this total solar eclipse, don't worry, because this is just one of four such events happening here in Western Australia. It's really amazing because Western Australia will experience more total solar eclipses than anywhere else in the world over the next 15 years. The next solar eclipses will be visible in 2028, 2037 and 2038. So there's a big series of total solar eclipses that you can go to and experience. Well, that's all from me for this very special total solar eclipse forecast. I hope you find time to get out under the night sky or to experience the total or partial solar eclipse wherever you might be here in WA. I'll catch you next time. See ya. Southern skies challenging all